Okay, I'm back. Anybody starting to feel deja vu here? I'm doing the very last. I'm really wanting to get rid of this stuff, which is why I'm doing this. Last of my products that didn't work for me, at least for a while. I'll keep throwing things in the bin, I'm sure. But for now, this is the last of it. So this is all of my body, um, face, hair kind of things, not makeup related entirely. And so I'm going to throw them all out here so I can throw them back in the bin, I guess. But I have way more products than I thought. And a lot of this stuff is are things that were bought a long time ago. Some of them were sent to me, etc. There's a couple here that were so bad that it's going to be interesting to talk about. I normally don't get products bad reviews, but there's a couple in here that I'm like, whoo. Okay, um, I don't know where the other one went. I used to have two of these, but this is just an Olay refreshing toner that my mom gave me um, from a lady that had them. They weren't opened when I got them and I used it for a little bit but these stung my face like nobody's business. This toner is not sensitive skin friendly and I have extremely sensitive skin so that is why this never got used. I had another one that I used a little bit of before I decided that it just wasn't worth the pain and so this is the other full one. I don't know where the other one went. I probably threw it away already. Mm -hmm. Okay and then this is I can't remember where I got the scent. I think it might have been back when I was doing Beauty Army. And this is the Not Your Mother's She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray infused with apple blossom and bamboo. Okay, it doesn't smell like apples. I don't know what it smells like, but the smell for me is so weird and kind of gross that I can't stand it being in my hair. I just keep getting whiffs of it and I'm just like, that smells so gross. So I'm sure this is, um, the Not Your Mother's line has some great things, but this one is just, I can't get over the scent. It's just a weird kind of disgusting scent to me, and so I cannot bear to use it. So it is happily going bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to save those for last. Um, okay, let's take a few minutes to talk about these. I have, I'm really, really sad about this. I have battled for years about my being pale because... I want to be tan or wanted to be tan so bad because everybody I knew always goes tanning every summer and they always look so great and they're always tan and I was white and so I used to go through tons of tanning products, tanning oils, tanning, I um, actually went to a tanning salon, tanning bronzers, like all these sort of things and so I bought, uh, I have four things here, I have two of these Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizers. This is the new stink-free formula. FYI, it still stinks. Um, and so I bought these two, and then I bought two of these Too Faced tanning bed in a tube, which is great. It's a super awesome formula. The reason I am getting rid of these is because I just don't have this obsession to be super tan anymore. I have been comfortable more and more lately with being pale. I mean, think about like the world's least right now biggest sex symbol. It's Dita Von Teese. Everybody knows who she is. She is super pale and she is hot. And if she can pull that off, I can pull that off. So I don't need to be tan. So I just, that's why those are going bye-bye is because I just am not obsessed with that anymore. I'm okay being white weird as that sounds, um, and not super tan. And if I happen to get tan, great. If I don't, great. Moving on. These two things I bought on a whim because I was looking for a night, uh, well, not necessarily a night cream, but just like an under eye kind of cream. And so I decided this, and I, <laughs> this tells you how stupid of a purchase this was. It says dark circle eye cream, and it's in two other languages, and there's no brand on there. I bought it at TJ Maxx and it didn't do anything for me whatsoever it was just kind of a weird unscented lotion and that was it so that is I am getting rid of this because it just didn't do anything didn't get rid of dark circles that's for sure but then this uh, same thing bought this at TJ Maxx it says H2O night oasis overnight com eye complex and it's this weird blue jelly kind of stuff and it feels refreshing on your eye um, and it smells kind of good, but it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't moisturize um, my eyes at all, and I still feel like they're just as dry, and so I'm getting rid of it. And then, ooh, and if you guys remember, I used to use this stuff all the time. This was my holy grail 
face moisturizer at the time and this is the Boots Botanics Light Night Cream. Um, and I'm getting rid of this because it's now very old and so it doesn't have the um, same texture that it does and it doesn't do the same for my skin anymore like it used to. I'm using more I don't want to say mature but more mature products now more anti-aging type things um, products that go well with my skin because your skin changes as you grow older and your ch skin changes as you do and so while this used to work for me back in the day now it doesn't because my skin is changing a lot and it's becoming more sensitive to certain things and so this just doesn't work for me anymore and then um, same thing with this. This is the Skin Brightening Cleanser. Um, and I didn't use very much of this before I stopped using it. I used it for quite a few months, but it just doesn't cleanse my skin or work for me the way it used to. And so I am getting rid of that. Um, and then this little thing, I came in a kit. This is the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh line reducing lip treatment and although I am using some anti-aging products now this not only doesn't smell like blueberries at all but it doesn't do anything for my lips it doesn't make them any more moisturized in fact it's one of those ones where you put it on and it feels good right when you put it on but then you feel like you have to keep applying it because it actually almost dries out your lips and so that and the scent just wasn't appealing to me and so that's going getting rid of I'm getting rid of it don't know what I'm saying there um, oh, I think I got this in Birchbox. This was a perfume sample, and not only am I allergic to most, um, in fact, all floral perfumes, but I just don't like floral perfumes. I don't like the way they smell it. They're just way too strong. They remind me of grandma, and bless her heart, I love all my grandmas and anybody out there that's a grandma, but they wear grandma's perfume, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's a really strong florally flower scent, and I don't like it. And so this was a... I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to show you. It's that, that perfume. It came in birch box and I spritzed it once and I was like, I'm probably not going to like this. And sure enough, I spritzed it and it made me like start choking and it was just awful. And I cannot do floral scents. They make me, I'm just really allergic to some of them. Um, and so that has to go away because I can't stand the scent. Uh, this, I can't remember where I got this. I don't know if I bought it or I think it might have been given to me. But it is a got to be fat, fat-tastic, instant collagen infusion thickening plumping mousse. Um, I don't use this because my hair is big enough as it is. I have a lot of volume. Um, my hair is very thick and I don't need anything to make it thicker. And so this is just going away for that reason alone because I don't need it. Getting down to the last of them. I only have a few more things here. Um, I have, it's kind of weird to be in here, but I have a Tom's deodorant. And Tom's is supposed to be an organic um, kind of brand. They don't test on animals. They don't have artificial crap in there. Um, it's recyclable, all that jazz. And the weird thing about this is that it still made me break out. And I think it was the lavender scent. Again, it is a floral thing. Floral scents break me out, make me choke. I can't do flowers. I don't know why, but I'm allergic to flowers. And so I think it was the wild lavender in there that just made my underarms like break out all the way up like my arm here. And so I had to stop using this because it was, it was breaking me out really bad. Um, okay. And then this was another one that I bought when I was just trying to find some products to work for me at the time. This is a Michael O'Rourke Fix It Up Leave-In Treatment Instant Repair for Dry and Processed Hair, which I did still, do still kind of have. Um, but this had a really, really bad smell to it. It was really, really thick and made my hair greasy, and so this is going away. And then the last couple of products here. Um, this is just a um, oil. You can use it for your hair. You can use it for your skin. You can use it kind of for anything that I got from a local shop here that I just don't use anymore because I already have oily skin and oily hair and putting oil on top of that, at least this particular one, made it worse. And so that's going away. And now I am down to the last two products. The last two things that are going to be the only two products. One of them is definitely one of those ones where it is getting a bad review. I'm sorry, there's just no good way about it. And then the other one is only getting a bad review for one reason. So we're going to start with this one. This is a Michael Todd Pumpkin Nutrient Rich Facial Mask. 
I, I loved the idea of a pumpkin facial mask. And it smells just like pumpkin pie. I love it. Smells phenomenal. I really just honestly want to eat it. Like I just want to squirt it in my mouth and eat it. I know that's gross, but it smells like pumpkin pie. And Michael Todd makes really great products. I, however, and the reason this is going away is because I didn't read the dang bottle. It says, moisturizes and nourishes all skin types except, guess what, sensitive. I have extremely sensitive skin. I used this once and I put a whole layer of it on my skin and it burned and like just absolutely irritated my skin so bad. My face felt like it was on fire. It stung. And so it is not, and I repeat not for people with sensitive skin. If you have any kind of sensitive skin, don't use it. And that's why it says it on the bottle, except for sensitive, because it will just make your face like burn like nobody's business. And so that's why it says if irritation continues, discontinue use. I am discontinuing this use. So going away. But I'm really sad about it because it smells like pumpkin pie. All right, last product. I was sent this in a birch box. And um, I don't do Birchbox anymore. I canceled my subscription because I it was not worth the money that I was spending on. I only liked one, maybe two products out of each box. And some of them were just so bad. Like the perfume sample, I can't use because I'm allergic to it. This, we're going to get to this in a minute. And so I just canceled that. So I won't be doing Birchbox anymore. But Ipsy, oh, we're all down with that. This is the Shea Terra Organics. Rose Hips Black Soap Deep Pore Facial Cleanser. It says made from ancient African formula and African active ingredients, all skin types, microdermabrasion in a bottle. And I was really scared when I got this in my birch box and then I opened it and I saw that it was indeed black soap and I'm holding it away from me because it smells awful, which is why I'm getting rid of it. But it's, it's black. You put it on your face and it's like putting tar on your face. And I decided, well, maybe it'll still be okay. So I took a little bit and I started putting it on my skin. And the smell for this was so gross, like so gross, within seconds of putting it on my face, I felt, honest to God, like I wanted to vomit. I don't know what this stuff is supposed to smell like, but it is horrible, like absolutely horrific. I had to hurry up and wipe it off my face and then re-cleanse my face with my other cleanser that smells good because this smelled so bad and it made my towel stink and I just, it says slight redness and tingling are normal as soap works away dead skin. For somebody who has sensitive skin, that's a nightmare. There's just nothing great about this product to me. Not if you have sensitive skin. Not if you don't like things that don't smell like the backside of a camel. I mean, there is just nothing good about this. And so it is going very happily away. This is that one product that I was like, why? Just why? At least make it smell like something. I don't even mind if it has an organic or herbally smell. This just smelled straight up like mud, like gross. And so it's just going away. And it is... Yeah, there's just no way to make this work and to give this any kind of a review that isn't totally horrid. So, this stuff, if you guys like it, by the way, and you're using it and you're like, oh my god, that's like my favorite product. I'm sorry. For me, <laughs> couldn't do it. So, I apologize in advance if that's your favorite thing in the world, but I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I wouldn't even give it away for free. So, all right, now that I have ranted on longer than I need to, that is it. Those are all of the products that I have thrown in my bin. And so now I am going through and I'm starting to do a lot of product empties. And so I'm not quite there yet. My box isn't quite full, but I am starting to do a lot of those now because I'm starting to go through my makeup and it's healthy because I'm using it and I'm buying more and I'm not accumulating it so I don't have huge hauls like this where I'm just dumping a lot of this stuff and yeah it is a waste and everybody does it everybody you know there's a lot of gurus out there that have a ton of makeup and I mean everybody out there does it they buy some new product and it turns out that it sucks and so they never use it and they throw it away it's just part of being a makeup guru and trying new products and so um but yeah, so I will see you guys next video. I'm thinking about doing the sweater weather tag. Is it sweater weather tag? Yeah. Um, tomorrow. And so I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye.